What is up? What is up? What is up? This is the dance music kid, Vinnie Michael. And we're back with a new, ser new Walk and Talk series. Yes, yes, yes. The series is now officially back. I decided to bring it, bring the, bring it back. Um, it's been a long, long time since I've done this. Um, and it's now two o'clock in the morning, or after 1.40, or I should say. <laughs> um, I had to pull the production for the whole entire almost two year, almost literally two years, because because of controversy that was happening, and like a lot of drama that was happening behind the scenes and everything else. So I had to pull back the production. I had to pull it back. Um, I just came off. I just got out of Mahali Car, one of the best Filipino bars in Mississauga. I just started going there the middle of summer. And I've been supporting them for a long time. Seven season performed, which was really good. And I've seen like other bands perform at Mahali Car. So shout out to DJ Jeff. Thank and to everybody at Mahali Car. Thank you so much for bringing back the Filipino community of Mississauga and keeping it alive. You know, it's been such a long time since I've been back. Like, been with the Mississauga Filipino community in over five years since it went hiatus and now it's back in full force so yeah so Mahali Car is one of the best Filipino bars ever I really enjoyed it it's like it's like I'm back in the good old days of Saints Peter and Paul Church <laughs> it's like Father Saul it's like the spirit of Father Saul is there <laughs> yeah so I'm on my way home now uh, we're going to be doing a series from time to time, only on weekends, like something like this. Um, so yeah, a lot, a lot has happened over the past two years. Um, I had to, like I said, I had to pull back the production and everything else. And so be it. I'm now part of the Ages Reborn, Dancer, Reborn Dancers group. Uh, they've been helping me a lot lately. Um, I was taking Zumba classes since April. My ex, because uh, my ex Zumba instructor, he used to come over to Mississauga, uh, shall rename, rename Nameless, has robbed us of an opportunity. And she was a dear, dear, dear friend of mine. She's an ex dear friend of mine. And her true colors have shown. And. I moved on from it. It took a lot out of me and I had insomnia. It suffered my 80, like I, I suffered a mental breakdown and caused me to have another insomnia. So then I had to like step, take a step back and my mother got sick this year. Um, her legs were so bad and like I literally had to step up and then with this here, I had to like literally step up for my mom. So sad that she passed away and everything else. So it's been like a difficult, difficult year and a half, but things were looking up still, you know, I'm, I'm only, I'm doing, I'm still doing my thing, going out, going out every weekend. Especially now with the dance music community back in full force. Yeah, so back to what I was saying about my insomnia. It was my son was acting up the whole summer. And like I wish like my ex-sumer instructor would have been honest. Instead of like being like prerogative. She should have been truthful about that. Very truthful. But it's okay. Life goes on. I moved on. And so be it. Yeah, I'm just on my way home, back home to Rathburn. Uh, I'm just doing a short episode tonight of Walk and Talk. This is a special brand new series. This would be season two of Walk and Talk. Season one is was is now finished. Um, I had to take, I said I was going to do another production, but due to the fact like I had to work in the previous a lot of controversy behind the scenes and everything else so i had to like take a step back but i was still posting my video so thank you all 
who have subscribed to my YouTube channel during that period. I've reached over 2,700 subs. I appreciate it all. Like all my hard work and dedication into my channel. Um, I'm still behind the scenes. I'm still posting my cooking videos. And then like I'm adding more content as you see. Now, I'm re uh, now I've rejoined the Filipino community. And my heart, I'm Filipino at heart. You know, and like I see now I'm, now I'm with the Ages Dancers group of Canada. Actually, the, uh, the Ages Reborn. Sorry for my mumbling. So, yeah. And a lot of things have been looking up as well. Um, a lot of positiveness since, you know, okay, I understand that my mom died. But I'm still, that would take me a while to bounce back from it. Still bouncing back now. And so... Um, and so yeah, the food at Mahalik are so good. That's what I call Filipino food. Back in the days, it's on over on see West Lock, right up, like right, right, right back there. It's right over on West Lock, like right over on West, uh, West like Wolfdale and West Lock. Small little tap, like nice tavern, like nice wrestle bar. It, it was called Race Place and it changed to Ellen. Now it's called Mahalik Car Wrestle Bar. Very, very, very well successful. Uh, I got it was recommended to me by a friend of mine who used to work there, who is now not my friend anymore either. And so yeah, <laughs> I've been there ever since. I think that the middle, yeah, the middle of July I started going there. Yeah, I started going to Mahali Car since then. So I've been like, you know, I've been supporting them, and they're supporting like other parts of the community. Which is really nice of them. Because DJ Jeff knows some of my friends that used to go to the Mahali car. Used to go to St. Peter and Paul Church with me back in the days. So I saw some familiar, familiar faces. Which is really good because I, I get to reconnect with my friends too. See, his, fr his friends are my friends. My, well, my friends are his friends, sorry. Yeah, my friends are his friends because we, like, we both share a bond. Like he took me under his wing as his, as his little brother. So like I appreciate Jeff so much and his family. Like and yeah, like and everyone else at Mahali guys, they treat me like family, which is so sweet. Everything like you feel the energy. Ever since I go in there, like you feel the positive energy, especially like when they're all there. You're like you're with the Filipino community. That's what I love about these guys. You know, they got like the positive energy. They know how to have fun and stuff like that. They know how to have a good time. You know, especially when it comes to the live bands. These live bands that be coming to Mahali Cut are amazing. Especially Seven Season Light Hall. Collective GM, Exquit, um, uh, new band that just joined uh, Regal Tone, that just joined the rank, the the, the roster, and other bands too. So like, it, and like they other, they also perform at other Filipino wrestle bars along the in the GTA. I, th I think especially in North York and Scarborough, and what in here in Mississauga, I think there's like only one left. If there's any more, please comment in the comment box. If there's any more here in Mississauga, I know there's one couple in Brampton. I'm not sure because I was being told that there is uh, before that there's a lot of Filipino bars in Brampton. Yeah, so a lot of changes have happened with me. I'm very happy. Like I'm gone. I'm on a new path right now. I'm still supporting the dance music community, but now like me, the Euro Dance Guy, DJ Kareem, we formed a new alliance. Like we re actually reformed a new alliance. Within the community, we're still compadres. And like, we just broke away from the trauma. Yeah, we're still compadres. It is that, you know, we're in a better place now since the whole ordeal last year. And the beginning of this year too. So we're in a better place now. So yeah, so the positive vibes at Mahali car. Oh my goodness. You feel the energy. And not one bad word out of me. <laughs> Actually, no, I do love the people that go there. Even I may not have a conversation with them, but I do love their vibes. You know, like I get I get involved in dancing, recording and stuff like that. So now if you see my YouTube channel, you're seeing a lot of new content lately. So now I'm pushing the Filipino community a lot more now. See, I'm pushing, I'm still pushing the dance music community. I'm still pushing the other shit. But now, now that I'm part of... The ageless. I'm actually getting more. I'm actually pushing the Philip. I'm pushing more of the Filipino community. I'm pushing up more with them too. So I gotta spread my wings and fly. You know, gotta spread the wings. Also, too, I've been hustling online. 
try to make some serious cash online. Um, I'm working on a couple of projects. Yeah, I'm working on. I found some sites that are actually pay legitimate money as well, so I can put some money in my account, even though because I'm also I'm freelancing at the moment, and like I've been taking care of things at home since you know my mom was alive and everything else. So like things are looking up, guys. Things are looking up. <laughs> Just yesterday, um. Many of you may know this. Um, I had a conversation with uh, former WWE superstar Santino Morella, better known as my mentor, my best friend Anthony Corelli, and we talked for the first time. You know, we talk we talk offline. We were talking on the phone yesterday. And he gave me some really really good advice. You know, and I really took that very well. Lovely, I took that very well, and it actually helped me because he's been my mentor. For literally like almost 10 years Even though he was like one of my favorite superstars In the WWE but still like He's still one of my mentors uh, Like you know he took me under his wing And everything else like and he's still doing it To this very day You know so like I appreciate him so much Like, uh, like, like every time I go to Zumba I get flashbacks of me Being at Battle Arts again When we used to train every day oh my goodness Oh those were the days Yeah I'm just gonna keep it short but next time I'm gonna make it a little go a little longer next time. That's why I'm gonna get a good this is like a brief preview of what's gonna be happening with Walk and Talk. This is a brand new series. So this is like season think of it as the season two premiere of Walk and Talk. Yes, 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 yes. This is season two. Cause I I, I, cause I was thinking about not bringing it back because like the controversies that were happening behind the scenes and everything else. So I'm like, ah, if I do this now, like I don't know like you know, yeah, I made about like over what 61 episodes from 2021 from the beginning, like 2021 up until like 22, up until like the winter of 22. Yeah, that's how long I've been doing it for. And like, I saw we were gonna do like other parts too, but due to the fact it's just like uh, too much and everything else was happening, I had to decide to cut the series, cut the series and everything else. So yeah. <laughs> actually, is actually, actually, um, with best of Mahali car, it's actually not that far. It's right on Central Park, right, right off of Central Parkway. You go into Wolfdale and uh, Westlock. Is that that far from here? I could take an Uber ride from here. Cause I remember back in the early days, I used to take the bus. Yeah, so this is like season two of Walk and Talk. Yeah, this is like season two. So it would be like, I'll be premiering it. I'll be recording like sometimes fr like between Friday night and Saturday night. Like going into the, like for the weekend nights only. Because like I need to like, you know, create, like put, like push a series a little more. Like I did the last time. And like I think people missed uh, the Walk and Talk series. Well, like I said, a lot of controversies were happening and everything else. I had to like, you know, and a lot of stuff behind the scenes. Got rid of the, like, got rid of like toxic people in my life. Got rid of them all. And the haters. Out there. So like they don't sit at the table anymore. <laughs> yeah, so December 2nd, I'm going to be making a return to the dance music community. On December 2nd, um, DJ Fat, Fat P, Eat So. They're going to be doing the whole jingle beat. On uh, December 2nd in Woodbridge So like yeah the last time I was there With the in the mix with Fat P and Eat So was when they did the, the I think the Four year anniversary of in the mix The fourth annual With um Uh Kathy Phillips and uh Ray Ray for the, From the original three Hellbent So this year they're doing the Jingle Beat On December 2nd So I'll be making a return to the dance music community like, me and the Eurodance guy are, like, still, like, compadres. Like, me and the Eurodance guy are compadres. Because, like, we started this whole click about, like, eight years ago on Twitter. So now, like, we're keeping it strong. We just gotta, like, get rid of, like, bad people that have been, been around with us for a long time. Like, the toxic people that try to, like, sit at our table, think they're fans, and they're not, and all that shit. So, like, we're just keeping it, like... Don't worry, like, the problem has been solved. We got rid of all the bad apples from the tree. So now we're keeping it positive, so.
So now I'm going to go into Tim Hortons. I'm going to cut it here. I will catch you all on the next episode of the Walk and Talk. I'll record it tomorrow after I come off the Ageless. So we can do episode two tomorrow. This is episode one, season two. Um, this is a little short premiere, but thank you all for tuning in. This is Dance Music Hit Vinnie Michael. Uh, please like and subscribe and share my channel. And I will see you on the next episode. All right, guys. Take it easy. Love you guys. Keep your keep 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 you keep my family in my prayers, especially my mom. And I will talk to you all soon. Love you guys. Have a great evening and see you all later on.